Hello everyone, welcome back to another Halo Wars video. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more games and having more fun while you're doing it. So let's get right to this. Alright, so we want to go uh, warehouse first, temple second. And what I'm going to say guys is, this is how to rush as the brute against the Arbiter. Now, let's pretend that this is not crevice for a second because on crevice you would go temple first against an arbiter but for the sake of the video in general you would like to go temple second but just note that on crevice you would go temple first your plan would remain the same but you'd go temple first so anyways we're going temple second here and we're collecting far crates because we want to collect crates that are close in the path so that our chieftain can collect crates in front of the path so what we're going to do is, guys, this is the strategy that I like to do. And what I'm going to say is, there's a lot of different ways to rush with the Brute. Okay, so, that being said, I can only endorse and I can only support and explain what I do myself, what works for me. Now, people don't know me as a Brute player, you know, the, the truth is I've actually played Brute a lot. Um, and I actually know all the top brutes and I have talked to them and everything and I actually consulted a lot of them on this video and I think I came up with a pretty good assessment of what to do here so if you'll notice guys what I'm doing is I'm upgrading inheritance right away okay now I guess the smart thing would be to upgrade inheritance when you're halfway in between the base just in case but I'm just doing it right away here guys and I'm going to build a brute. Now, I'm going to do a method that works the best against Arbiters. Believe me, I'm an Arbiter pro myself, and I know what works against an Arbiter. So this is what's going to do it, okay? You want to beat an Arbiter? This is what you do, okay? All right, so here we go. Now, you want Inheritance, and I'm not going after the building that's coming up because I know it's going to be up in a couple seconds. So I want to be in position to stop his fifth building. Right, so here we go, boom. Now I'm not bringing my brutes through right away, okay? This is very important, okay? Now I would have, you should keep them locked up, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your chopper through first, guys. Check this out. Bring your chopper through first, okay? And most arbiters will do that. Boom, okay? And then I'm gonna use my chopper to meat shield my brute. See that? And the brute will drop in right there, and he's gonna have to actually have to waste money to try and get to that brute, okay? See how much money he wasted there? And he'll even actually, if he's not the greatest rager, he'll actually hit the brute chieftain there. So you can see how that chopper makes a really huge difference. An Arbiter doesn't have a lot of money and doesn't want to waste a lot of money raging. Now, as you can see here, I'm trying to run away with my brute so that he chases me, you know? And uh, he has to rage run. And his Arbiter does a weird glitch there. I don't know what that was. But anyway, so you can see how much money and time he wasted trying to kill all those brutes. Whereas if you'll notice, he's only got three warehouses. And what you want to do is you want to bless two warehouses as soon as you can. And you don't want to be a me, 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 for example. Which if you guys don't know who that is. He like always does like, he never stops building brutes. I'm not insulting you, me, 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 if you're watching this, okay? I'm just saying that his style is build brutes constantly and get a haul and just go crazy rush. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but that's not something I do, okay? So, the smart thing for you to do is to get two Blessed Warehouses, stop building Brutes after two or three, okay? Don't keep building them. He's just going to kill them. And then get a Summit right that quick, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you don't get any more Blessed. Now, I'm, gonna le I'm doing a really cool trick here, guys. I'm leaving that pad red because I want to try and stop this pad coming up as quickly as I can. And that pad's always going to be red. So, I'm going to basically, I'm going to get as many pads as I can red and then in a very short period of time, I'm going to vortex them all down really quickly. Whereas if I just kill it, he just rebuilds a new one. And yeah, I'm sure you might say, well, Smoggy's making money off that pad and, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know what? No. So he's getting a summit. Now, he's got two red bar pads. I'm going to be able to drop two pads. Of, see, if I had killed that red pad, for example, right? If I had killed that... Now, I'm going to get a supply pit here. I don't believe in double pump right away because I don't have my economy good enough yet. So what I want to do is, you always want to get boost first, okay? And if you wait till you pump three banshees and then put a second summon up, 
you know, honestly, guys, you could just put up two summits. It doesn't matter. I just do it this way because I understand the economy. Now, here's my trick, okay? Two pads are red. So I'm going to vortex, and I'm going to keep the vortex as far away from the center as possible. Explode. And then I'm going to walk over. Whereas if I had killed the red bar pad, what would have happened is he would have just built a new one. Okay? But I want to shut his economy down as quick as possible. So the way to have done that is to make as many red bars as possible and then kill the red bars as quick as possible. So check this out. I kill the red bar pad and then in a matter of 40 seconds from now, I'm going to leave that pad there. See that? I'm going to let him get that pad because if I kill it, he rebuilds a new one. I'm going to ball that pad down. Okay, look at this. Check this out. Boom. And then guess what? Boom. He's three pads down in under 40 seconds. Whereas he would have only been one down if I had finished the red bar pad. That is how you play brute. That's how you do it against an arbiter. You are on offense as long as possible so that he can't leave and go to your base. You're doing too much damage. Now obviously in a real 2v2 there'd be a lot of factors to apply like warthogs ramming your broods or an early tank pushing her off, blah, blah, blah. But this gives you your very basic idea, okay, guys? So I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. If you guys want me to break down the analysis even further, just let me know, okay? Uh, and I will break it down for you. Uh, I get a little desperate here and try to kill that summit. You know what? It does work. People don't utilize their vortex enough. And you know something? You got to. Anyways, guys, coming near the end of the video, please comment, rate, subscribe. Have a great day. Smug, Bird, Smug Big Bird is signing out. And I will say I'm up to 155 subscribers now. You guys are awesome, and you guys are liking the videos. Let me know what you guys want to see. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Take it easy, guys. See you tomorrow with an all-new video. Later.